Hello guys, in today's script demo, I'm going to be showing you a script that allows you to change the font family, the font size, and the color of the font of the tooltip, as well as the background of the tooltip. If you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. All right, welcome back. This script is not written by me. It is from this URL right here, which is right here. Now, if you want to customize the tooltip from it being a standard tooltip that looks just like this, which is quite plain. And if you want to change the font, the size of the font, and also the, the color of the font and the background color, this script is the script you need to use. Now, this script has two functions to call tooltip font and tooltip color. And if you look at the codes within this script, it looks pretty complicated, but you don't have to understand how this works. All you have to understand is how you use the functions that are made available to the users by the script. All right, let me explain to you the tooltip font function first. So the tooltip font, font function is right here. And there are two parameters that you have to provide when you call this function. The first is the size of the font, which is preceded by the letter S. And then the next is the font family. So when you run this function, what it's going to do is for any subsequent calling of a tooltip from you will have this effect applied. So what that means is if I run this script, it will show me a standard tooltip for three seconds and then run this function to change the font size and the font family. And therefore the next tooltip you run will be affected by that. And actually I can run another tooltip down here, which looks exactly like the first tooltip that we're going to run, but it will be affected by this function and therefore it will have a larger font and a different font family. So if I go ahead and run this script, I first see the standard tooltip and then a new tooltip and then the same standard tooltip with the font size and family applied to the new tooltip. I don't have an exhaustive list of the font family, um, but I can try them out. I just know a, a few examples. So let me go ahead and try some font families out and if they don't work then I think the, the standard uh, font family shows up so um, if it doesn't work then just consider it not available so if I run this I get Calibri and Arial okay Arial worked and maybe Impact there you go Impact works and Comic Sense I know this one works and there you go now to change the tooltip color, you have to run the tooltip color function. And I think the first parameter was the background and then the second parameter was the font. So this is going to affect the subsequent tooltip command. So the first one is going to be affected by this. So this will be applied to this to this tooltip. And then this one is going to have both of the Comic Sense font family with the font size of 20 and a black background with the white font color applied. So if I go ahead and run the script, there you go. That's how it works. And again, with the color, um, try a few colors out. Um, I haven't really played around with this all that much, so. But it seems like the standard colors might work. So let me go maybe purple and yellow and see if that works. Okay, that works fine. And I suppose blue and gray, perhaps. Um, gray might be spelled with an A. Um, so I think that was just uh, just now it was was black instead of gray. So let me try. There we go. I think it's it's spelled as G R A Y instead of G R E Y. 
All right, this is it. I think there's not much more to explain about the script. You can take this to customize your tooltips to your own needs. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.